Hello! Welcome to the Mr. 50mm YouTube channel. I'm Chris. First, before we get started, let me excuse myself for the unwieldy video title. Second, I'm gonna assume that you're here because I said unwieldy video title because you bought one of these Kodak DCS cameras listed in said title, and you probably need to power it. So, now what? Well, we've got a couple options based on your scenario. First, if you do just have a dead battery and a functioning charger, the easiest option for you, just to buy some third-party batteries. They're still being produced and uh, you can order them on Amazon. So uh, I'll link to some below that I found. Uh, FY, I'm not like an affiliate or anything. It's just like the easiest link that I could find and I've ordered from there before. So I know that they will like eventually arrive to you if you order it. Anyways, the actual uh, purpose of this video though isn't really to go over the easy options. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to actually build your own AC adapter and how to build an external power pack for the camera for part one. In part two, we'll actually go over how to replace the uh, dead cells within a uh, dead battery pack with lithium ion cells. That's exciting. All right. It's time for everyone's favorite part of any YouTube video, the standard disclaimer. Yay. Okay. So basically I just want to state that I'm not responsible for any tomfoolery that results from this fantastic informative video. So just, you know, generally be aware that there are risks to doing this kind of stuff. And in this video specifically, we're going to be playing with batteries and electricity. So be safe. building your own AC adapter and external battery pack. This is actually fairly easy and not that DIY-y. And additionally, it's cheaper than trying to find an OEM uh, Kodak adapter and easier. Uh, those things are really rare. Uh, I'm pretty sure rarer than unicorns at this point. Uh, so building one might actually be cheaper and quicker. It also turns out that the uh, AC adapter plug for the Kodak camera is fairly standard. It's what's known as a three pin power DIN. At least, you know, that's what it's being referred to in the documentation that I found. Uh, so for the AC adapter and the external battery pack, we're gonna need the one common part. And again, I'll link to it below and it's gonna be on Amazon, uh, but it is a three pin power DIN to 5.5 millimeter to 2.1 millimeter female barrel plug adapter. Uh, and again, uh, this is from Amazon. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things from Amazon today. Uh, just turns out that it's pretty easy to buy these weird little things off there. Uh, I did look into like some local electronic shops around here, but like their hours are really inconvenient, like on the borderline of like 2.04 PM to 2.07 PM or whatever. So it just wasn't really worth it for me to go and try to get these places. Uh, seems like they, I think just cater to education sector. So only work during normal business hours. Kinda sucks, but whatever. More money to Jeffy B, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, for the uh, next part of the AC adapter, all you really need is a power adapter and it's gotta support a couple things. One, it needs an output of at least seven volts. Well, you want seven volts because that's what's specified in the uh, Kodak uh, DC adapter. Uh, and it needs to output a uh, current of at least 3.6 amps. Uh, this is kind of a problem because I think there aren't that many adapters that like kind of have a variable voltage and will be able to scale up there, but I did end up, end up finding one on Amazon. And again, I'll link to it below. Uh, this is the one that I am using. And you can see it's already have has its knob set to roughly seven volts, set 7.2. It's pretty close, shouldn't be a problem. And all we gotta do now is plug it into the uh, adapter there and we are good to go. Although, one thing to watch out for when you are uh, doing this, just make sure that the uh, barrel plug orientation is as follows. You wanna make sure that it is a center positive uh, polarity uh, in that your uh, volt positive voltage is at the center of the barrel plug, not on the sides. This is pretty important. You don't want it to be reversed. 
most of the adapters anyways are set up this way, but uh, there is a way to flip it. So, you know, when you are doing this, just make sure that you don't have it in the flipped orientation because I'm not really sure whether or not the uh, camera itself has the re reverse voltage protection or whether or not it'll just short out something and like pop. Uh, I'm not sure that it would have uh, protection since, uh, yeah, it was only designed to work with the Kodak AC adapter and there's not really a way to mess up the plug so that the voltage goes in the wrong direction. So I would not be surprised if there are no, no reverse polarity protection on there. Uh, and, you know, it's not really worth uh, risking it. So double check your work and make sure that you have things set up as center positive. And once you are, you should have a functioning AC adapter. And I will demo this one. So here is my Kodak DCS and I'm going to plop the battery out. And in this case, this is my DIY repacked cell. Uh, but that's for another video. There you go, no power pack. And we're gonna pop open that flap and we're gonna plug it in. Boop, okay, camera comes to life. There we go, display is up and takes a photo, good to go. And that is basically it for the AC adapter. It's quick and dirty and fairly cheap. All in all, I think for me, I spent roughly uh, 50 Canadian pesos on this. So I don't know, what is that like? 10 US bucks, yeah, I'll look it up later. Uh, so yeah, again, fairly cheap option, uh, pretty good way to go. All right, next up, we're gonna talk about uh, how to make the uh, external battery pack. All right, so building the external battery pack is a little more involved, a little more DIY-y, kind of to be expected. Uh, so you're gonna need to have access to uh, at least a soldering iron. Uh, and if you wanna make your own battery case, probably a 3D printer. Uh, but at the minimum, a uh, soldering iron is what you're gonna need. Uh, along with that, you're gonna need to purchase a couple things. So we don't need to purchase another DIN adapter since we already have the one we have from the AC adapter. So that's good. But now you will need to buy the, uh, just the barrel plug in general. Uh, and you know, it'd be good to get it on leads so you'll need to at least grab a 5.5 millimeter to 2.1 millimeter male and barrel plug with exposed leads. And again, links to all these parts are going to be below, uh, as well as a description of the other equipment that you're going to need, just in case uh, you know you want a, a list you can print out. Uh, but yeah, so barrel plug is the first thing. The second thing is you're going to want to have actually your power source, and in this case. I selected the uh, 18650 lithium ion battery. They're fairly common, they're fairly cheap. And if you actually have like, you know, cheap, small power banks that you don't use anymore, you probably pull them out of there. Uh, but you could also just order them. Uh, you're also gonna need to have a holder for these cells, preferably one that connects them in series because two of these packs will give you a output voltage of 7.4 volts. Uh, and again, I will link to one that I found on Amazon that that appears to connect the pack in series and again, have leads for you to solder on. Uh, you can also 3D print uh, battery packs as well. And again, a link to those will be included below. Uh, so you can have the option of printing it or buying it. Uh, I, as you might've expected, uh, chose to print mine. Uh, I also modeled my own with a little weird, really weird one. It's not super great, so I won't really bother putting it up online, but I will show you it. Uh, so you see here, it is a uh, just a uh, two lithium ion batteries arranged in series to give you that required 7.4 volts. And they are wired up so that the positive terminal, terminal of the pack goes into the positive of our wire adapter and a negative goes to negative. That is the way you're gonna to wanna to do it. And again, most of these are already gonna be arranged so that the center is positive. And if you need to verify that, go grab a you know multimeter and do your continuity checks. But once you have it wired up that way, all you need to do, again, plug your male end of the barrel jack to your female end of that adapter and 
plug it in to the camera. And again, here we go. Good to go. Now, the nice thing about this pack is, again, as long, along with not being super expensive to build, its capacity should be fairly close to the original nickel metal hydride pack that Kodak supplied with the camera. So it should get you roughly 300 shots, maybe. I haven't checked that. I haven't gone out and taken 300 shots with the camera, but you know, the couple shots I've done seems to be pretty good and the batteries are holding up. Uh, and again, this is probably the most dangerous part because again, uh, these are just two lithium ion cells stacked together. There's not really circuit protection or anything. It's just wired up that way and you're good to go. So again, be careful with shorting these. You don't want to do that because lithium fires are, you know, not great fires. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot. There's a one more thing you're gonna need. I'm assuming you don't already have it, but if you do, cool, you'll need a uh, lithium ion battery charger. Again, they're on Amazon, they're not super expensive, and I will list one that I found online that, like, that works. Uh, all in all, for the uh, external battery pack, I think I didn't spend that much money, like, the uh, mail plugs cost like $12. Uh, I actually scavenged my lithium ion battery, so $0 there, awesome. And again, I printed the holder and made one myself, but the Amazon one was only $11. So it shouldn't be much to build the pack. Uh, so you can have a back battery pack and AC adapter all together. It should be easily under you know, 100 Canadian or 75 USD-ish. Uh, the chargers themselves are also very cheap. Uh, so yeah, that's hopefully two good methods to explore if you need to find a way to power a Kodak DCS series camera. Uh, again, this, this is specifically for the 500, 600, and 700 series. And if you have any questions about how to do this, uh, feel free to send a message or you know leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you and answer you. Uh, and there's multiple ways to build these things, but you know, the cheapest ways tend to be okay. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.